Hey, Mark, how's it going? Hey, I'm Eric. I'm just waiting on these deep machine learning models to train using TensorFlow, but it's taking forever. Do you know any way we could possibly speed them up? Sure. Well, one approach is to use tensor processing units, or TPUs. They enable you to train and run predictions on TensorFlow machine learning models faster than ever. Okay, sounds pretty good, but what exactly is a TPU? I've heard of GPUs, but what does a TPU do differently? Well, here, let me show you. Here we have a comparison of a GPU and TPU. The modern GPU usually has 2,500 to 5,000 arithmetic logic units in a single processor. That means you could execute thousands of multiplications and additions simultaneously. But the GPU is still a general purpose processor that has to support millions of different applications and software. This means that for every single calculation the GPU needs to access registers or shared memory to read and store the intermediate calculation results causing a bottleneck. TPUs can't run word processors, control rocket engines, or execute bank transactions, but they can handle massive multiplications and additions for neural networks at blazingly fast speeds while consuming much less power and inside a smaller physical footprint. So let's look at actually setting one up. First, we need to launch a Cloud Shell from the Cloud Console. We're going to use a TPU tool. Run the following command to set up a Compute Engine virtual machine and a Cloud TPU with associated services. This combination of resources and services is called a Cloud TPU flock. You can use a CTPU up command. In the output message, the name is the name of your TPU resource, which defaults to your username, and the zone is a default geographic zone for your Compute Engine. Once created, the CTPU command connects us to the compute instance with Cloud TPU attached. OK, great. So we have a TPU. But how do we check that everything's up and running? Good question. We're going to test our environment by executing a simple TensorFlow script. This script is written in Python and performs a simple computation. Let's run that script now. Of course, you don't want to leave these resources running, so we'd better make sure to spin them down when we're done. First, we'll disconnect from the Compute Engine VM with the exit command. Then we'll run this command to delete the VM and its associated Cloud TPU. CTPU, delete, and then add the name of your VM. TPUs are specifically made to make matrix calculations faster, so you definitely want to attach them to any VMs used for machine learning. Don't forget to subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content.